Yes. That works. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of C2662 composing melodies continued. Today we have moved to what we call melody model 02. We've moved to a quarter note equals 180 beats per minute and a six quarter time signature. And the reason we did that is because in our original melodies that we worked on last time, sometimes we were in 2-4 with a half note equals 45. Sometimes we were in 6-8 with a half note equals 80. And we decided we really needed to consolidate and put things. Also, when we worked with the cadences, um, they were in a half note equals 45. So we needed the cadences to slow down because they are the kind of the undercurrent. So in our original cadence model, that was definitely slower down than we had been, but it's not slow enough. So this is now the new pace. Like that. So we've successfully moved from a 2-4 time into a 6-4 time. And the benefit of the 6-4 time is that we wanted to consolidate things from the different models. And the 6-4 time signature lets us accommodate both the 2 and the 3-beat patterns. Now we just heard a 2-beat pattern. In our melody model, uh, we had some things we call the B theme, like here. And we've successfully moved it over here. So that works. And we had this theme. And we successfully moved that here. So that's what we mean by accommodating the two beats, like a two beat melody here and a three beat melody. Da, 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 So we did all that. We also went back here into our melody model 01, and let's look at our checklist some more. We wanted to um, start labeling mode as well as urge notes. And that's going to be important as we start to put, um, to combine melodies and cadences from, not just from the different models, but when we, we want the chords coming down here and the new fast melodies riding on top of the chords. And when we start matching them, it's important to know what, are we in a 2-6 minor, 2-6-2 major, full? And, and the way those are told apart is modes. Minor has a mode, major has a mode, minor has an urge note, major has an urge note, and they're different. There's, there's four of those little thingies. So what we started to do was to go in here and carefully label the mode and the urge everywhere we went. and including in all the melodies. Another thing we wanted to do is we wanted to um, extend the melody above and below the central octave. And a, way, a good way to show you that is here is our original scales. Well, let's just put all of them in there. And you'll see they're all between C4 and C5. But what we've done is we've pushed from the C4 all the way down to A flat, which is uh, neutral over here. A flat below C4 to the A flat above C5. So now we've extended ourselves, And we like that a lot because that gives us more room 
to to uh, literally to play with. This is what the scales sound like here. But now this is what it sounds like extended. Also notice that we've given it a little more pacing and tempo for composing. So we did that. We did lots and lots and lots of things here. And uh, we realized that we were going to have a lot of uh, things to follow up on here. So we kind of made our official checklist here. We've we've started to work in 2.6 minor and 6.2 major, as well as 2.6, full. We've started to label the mode as well as the urge notes. We've started to allow ourselves to go below and above the central octave. And we've started to allow ourselves to accommodate two and three bit patterns. What we still have left to do um, well we got a lot more to go here and here. We have not created any melodies per se for we we got melodies down here. We got we got the B and the Simpsons. Oh, we had fun doing that. Let's talk about the Simpson melody. So, we had called that the Simpson melody because it, da, 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 da. but then we extracted just the pure arpeggios and we got this. And that sounded pretty cool. And then that reminded us, hey, we want to go higher. But wait a minute, that wasn't right. But we don't have that. We don't have a D flat. <laughs> so we have to stay in the modality. So we named that Sergio a 102 and 03. And then this suddenly sounds kind of cool again. This is a 3-2 chord. We also went back and made, you know, that's a 3-4 traditional minor, 4-3 traditional major, a 3-3 traditional diminished, and then 3-2, an extended chord, and we ran into those in the ballad. Now these, I wouldn't necessarily call a melody, but I would certainly call them an ornamentation and or they could be uh, rolling underneath a melody. We had the uh, bass chord arpeggios in the ballad is what we called them. Anyway, we found that very pleasing because this is again the world turned upside down. The 3-4 and the 4-3. You just want to hear it go mm, da, 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 da. but there is no such note and all of a sudden you're thrown back to here. And um, that's pleasing. So we did that. That was actually coming from our very first, uh, right down here, dissonant, consonant, the world turned upside down. So, so good. So we got a lot done. We have, um, completed labeling and getting all the modes and urges labeled. We added a couple more melody motifs here. Um, these things are already, uh, we'll just play them again. And we started to copy them over here into uh, the melody model 02, which is the new home bass, quarter note equals 180 and 6 4 time signature. And we kind of were pausing there because what we're thinking about is well, we could take all these melodies that we did for the everything we've done so far in melodies is 2662, and that's what it says there 2662. 
but today we created the extended scales to work from here and here and um, you know to be complete about it we should really go ahead and fit in a nice extended scale down here and that's probably what we want to do we want to keep working in melody 01 and then selectively start moving stuff over here and that's about all we can figure out and then also we want to in in doing that start looking at getting the passing notes in there and let's start putting some of those things together. So we have a lot left on our platter. Yay! Thank you for your time and attention, as always. Look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>